Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Around Town. Uh, I'm here with the one and only uh, local legend, Michael Gancher uh, of Dollars for Scholars of Whitman and Hanson. And we are here at the Taste of Whitman Hanson 2023. Mike, how are you doing tonight? I am doing fantastic. There's so many wonderful people here. It's a great event. Absolutely. So for the folks at home that don't know, tell us a little bit about the Taste of Whitman Hanson. Uh, so it started out, it was restaurants that were from Whitman or Hanson or people that owned restaurants that were from Whitman and Hanson. And we've kind of branched out a little bit further than that. So you'll see some Hanover restaurants, some Abington restaurants, some Brockton restaurants. But they're restaurants that uh, graciously offer samples of their food to the public. Dollars of Scholars gets to collect the admission, and that money all goes towards uh, scholarships at the end of the year for graduating high school seniors from Whitman and Hanson. Yeah, so it's all for a great cause, 100%. Uh, win-win, yes, exactly. Yeah, win-win, we get really good food, and they get money for scholarships. So uh, what I understand is that we have not had this event since 2020. Uh, how does it feel to be back uh, running the event again? Oh, it's fantastic, and I think the restaurants have all made the same comment that it's good to see everybody back. Uh, the last one we had was March 2020. It was two weeks before the pandemic, so we were lucky that we were able to get that one in. Uh, but we're blessed to be able to do this again this year. This is the 14th, but the 13th was three years ago. Yeah, the 14th annual, but uh, mi missing a few digits yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so are there any uh, new restaurants that uh, haven't shown up before? We have two new ones. Uh, one is in East Bridgewater. It's called Perfectly Flavored Cafe. Um, they've got a lot of food. They've got some barbecued meatballs that I just had, which were wonderful. And the, the second one is a Whitman one. Um, it is Wicked Loft Cafe. Uh, it started out as a smoothie bar, but she's got a wide array of, uh, uh, in, on her menu. You got any other particular favorites that are maybe like recurring and you're always excited to see back? Well, I'm not going to name them, but I will say I'm a sweet person. So it's anything that has a bakery that has cake, I gravitate towards. Absolutely, man. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, so it's uh, great to talk to you, Mike. Always a, always a pleasure. Uh, it's a great event we've got going on. It's a really good turnout, by the way. Yeah, this, um, uh, this one rivals some of our other ones, um, so this is a very good turnout, very robust ticket sale. All right, so let's make our way around the tables and try some food. All right, so our first stop during the Taste of Whitman Hansen is right here at Regal Marketplace, a Whitman original, and I'm joined by... George Vemus, one of the owners. Nice to meet you, George. Uh, tell the people at home a little bit about uh, Regal Marketplace. Awesome. So Regal Marketplace, we've been in the community for 25 years. Uh, we have beer, wine, liquor, uh, an assortment of fresh foods made daily, sandwiches, deli meats, cheeses. We work at Montilio's Bakery. Uh, and here's just a little sample of our food tonight. Absolutely. Uh, what have you got for us? We have homemade New England clam chowder. We have chili. We have pulled pork meatballs and marinara chicken marcella and that is literally not even a one percent of our menu all right i mean you got all the major food groups right here Absolutely. all the bare essentials uh what other kinds of food do you got so we do everything from steak and cheese to homemade fresh battered chicken tenders we do uh fresh angus beef patties uh you name it we pretty much make it the only thing we don't do is pizza so everything else is done all right i mean you you got everything else, but you know, it looks like it's real, real good right here. It looks like you guys have had a good amount of traffic, judging by what's left of the uh, what's left of the trays. Oh, absolutely! And uh, we'd love for you guys to come down, enjoy some of our food. Uh, we're adding some fresh produce, meats, poultry, take-home meals, so it's only going to get much better from this. Absolutely. Uh, have you had a chance to uh, stop at any of the other tables and get a bite to eat? I have. Uh, some of my favorites in town are here, like uh, Trio Cafe, The Hitching Post. Uh, I always love South Shore Votech because their students come out here, they make an awesome little display, and it's really cool to see the younger generation really coming into food. Um, so it's always a good time. It's great to see the, the community coming together for the first time in like a while now, and just seeing everybody uh, come together with some... So now we've made our way over to the Cowbells Cafe table. They're, uh, a restaurant over in uh, Whitman, and I'm joined by Katie, Allie. All right, nice to meet you guys. Uh, nice to meet you. Tell the people at home a little bit about what you do. So I'm a waitress at Cowbells. So is Katie. Um, it's a family-owned small restaurant. Um, everyone that works there is super close, so it's an awesome environment. A lot of the food is straight homemade right out back. Our corned beef hash is one of our best sellers. That's homemade. 
All of our soups that we have here today, those are made from scratch. And uh, what have you brought here? We have beef stew, clam chowder, and stuffed pepper soup. All right, sounds good. Uh, Can I try some? Uh, absolutely. Uh, probably the stuffed pepper. That one. Yeah. Quite the reputation today. So, what brings you guys over to the Taste of Whitman Hansen? Um, Dave's owned Cowbells for like nine years now. I think I this is my first year being here with Cowbells. Um, but I know that they've done it for years. So. Yeah, I, I do believe that WHCA has gone to Cowbells and done a piece about them. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, so, so it is cool to to come back and see like the the new blood that's sort of running the place both both yeah. here and with WHCA. Definitely. That's awesome. Absolutely. Go ahead, take a taste. Tell us what you think. All right. Yeah, you ready? Is that what do you want? We have beef, new clam, chowder, stuffed pepper. Stuffed pepper? You got it. Oh, yeah. Katie, what's oh, yeah. You, you're, you heard it right here, folks. This is some good soup. It's soup season. It is. It's always it's always soup season. Like there's there's no there's no denying. Oh yeah, we got the Parmesan cheese for it too. Oh yeah, can I get some? What's really great too is we are one of the breakfast all day places. So breakfast is all day. Lunch kicks in at eleven. So three o'clock. You want breakfast? We got it. So you do have people coming in like late afternoon. They're just like, I need an omelet right now. Oh absolutely, corn beef hash omelet. They want pancakes at 2 in the afternoon. We got them for you. I say that because I am one of those people. Yeah, I love breakfast food. It's the best. So filling. Yeah, so it's uh, great talking with you guys. Thanks for thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. Nice to meet you. Have a good rest of the day. You too. All right, so we are here with yet another Hanson Classic, the old hitching post. And I'm here with? Eva. Nice to meet you, Eva. Uh, tell the folks at home a little bit, a little bit about, um, well, I'm going to do that again. So, tell the folks at home a little bit about the old Hitchin Post. Um, actually, then we had a new owner, Lori. She just bought it in, uh, I think, November. And so we've been changing it up and making it better. And it's going really good so far. So, what have you brought to uh, sample here today? Uh, we bought buffalo chicken dip and a tiramisu. Oh, I can't go wrong with the buffalo chicken dip. Uh, so, what made you want to be a part of the uh, event tonight? Um, I volunteer for Dollars for Scholars, so I brought it up to Lori and we decided to come tonight. Oh, that's great. And it's all, it's all about the students, right? It's all about giving back to the community. Yes. All right. Well, you're ready here first. Old Hitchin Post, under new management. It's looking good. We have made our way over to the corner of the VFW, right to the South Shore Votech table, and I'm joined here by... Charles Doucette. How are you doing, Charles? I'm fantastic. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. So what brings you to the Taste of Whitman Hansen? All right, so this is probably our third... Maybe even our fourth event. You know, the, obviously there was a whole gap uh, that we weren't here for a little while, but we're so happy to be back. Uh, it is such a great event for not only us to showcase the school, but to showcase the students. The students get out, uh, they're doing a little networking. We have students here that uh, get job offers from the whole kind of event. Uh, we're meeting people in the community, we're promoting not only we have a restaurant within the school that we run, but we're promoting the school as well. So it's such a great event um, that we, you know, we look forward to it. Um, we put aside a whole kind of uh, time and effort and we just love it. Absolutely. And I'm sure your students are eager to show off their work and what, what they've been cooking. Speaking of, what have your students brought here today? Alright, so we have two different sections over here. We're, we've just started a, a whole what we call a CTE program, which is a night school. Um, so um, students or uh, adults that want to go back to school, want to learn culinary, we've started that whole thing. So that's this section right over here, and they have a couple of mac and cheeses going on. They got uh, buffalo mac and cheese and kind of a, just a regular macaroni and cheese. So that's going on over there. We got homemade um, um, brownies over here. And then we have uh, our students, our actual, uh, these are junior high school students, and what they have going on is an Asian um, uh, sesame salad. So it's a cold salad with Asian noodles. Uh, we also have some homemade cookies going on, and they're just kind of tossing those salads uh, to order. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you got a good variety. I mean, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese, right? Who can go wrong? 
But I do got to ask: uh, Are there any tables around that you've been that you've been walking around, you've been seeing that you know you want to hit as the night goes on? Absolutely, absolutely. We've got a barbecue place over there. Mm -hmm. There's pizza. I, I heard so much, so many good things about the pizza and those. Um, those uh, those sweets are looking pretty good. I know Montelio's is always a big draw, so we love Montelio's. We got students at Mont Montelio's. You can't go wrong. Yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with Montelio's. So yeah, this so one, I've really been looking forward to. We've made our way around to Mike's House of Pizza, a Hanson original, and I'm joined by Kathy, Noah, Noah, and Brooklyn. Great to meet you guys. So tell the people at home a little bit about Mike's House of Pizza. Been in business in Hanson, Mass for um, over 40 years, and they're very active in uh, the community. And Noah is a student. So we have made our way to a Hanson original, Mike's House of Pizza. I've been looking forward to this one personally. And I'm joined by... Kathy. Noah. And Brooklyn. So great to meet you guys today. Uh, tell the folks at home a little bit about Mike's House of Pizza. Mike's House of Pizza is a long-standing pizza shop that's been in Hanson, Mass for over 40 years. And they're very active in the community and they love to participate in this event tonight to raise money for Dollars for Scholars. Absolutely, yeah. And there's nothing like a fresh pie that gets people interested, and gets people going. Uh, what kinds of pizzas have you brought for us today? Tonight we have cheese pizza, buffalo chicken calzone, and meat lovers pizza. Oh, so good. So, so you had said earlier that you're a job coach with the, uh, with the school program. You want to talk a little bit about that and what you do? Sure. Um, the Whitman Hanson Postgrad program has um, job opportunities throughout the community. And one of our internships for our students is Mike's House of Pizza. And so they were very nice to ask us if we would like to volunteer tonight and give the students an opportunity to volunteer in the community and help out. So great what you guys do. You know, yeah. Can't get enough of that. So, um, any final words? Uh, we're excited to see what all the other tables have to offer, and we're going to look around a little later and check it out. What about you, Noah? Anything to say to the people at home? Uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, I'm looking forward to tonight. So, oh, so we'll find out. Yeah. Me too, man. I'm also excited. What about you, Brooklyn? Uh, anything you want to say? I really feel honored to be here. Um, come try the best pizza in town. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know I'm going to. So we've made our way over to the Edible Arrangements table. I'm sure you're familiar with that name. And I'm joined by Christina and Stacy. How are you guys doing today? Doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Good, thank you. Right. So tell us a little bit about Edible Arrangements. Okay. Um, we are located in Brockton, um, right by the Westgate Mall, and also in um, Taunton on County Street and we have been in business for the last 17 years. We offer a variety of chocolate dipped fruit. Um, now we have baked goods, cookies, brownies, cakes, um, cheesecakes, just about anything that you can imagine. Um, we're here to service any of your gift giving needs. Uh, we also have flowers and popcorn and teddy bears. But when it comes to edible arrangements, I'm sure everybody knows that it's all about these gigantic fruit bouquets, and they have one displayed right here on the table. As I said, any sort of gift-giving need, wedding, birthday, or even just because you feel like it, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, exempt from that. I, I've done it before. So we have made our way to the Trio Cafe table, and I'm here with... Ilya. Nice to meet you. Uh, tell us a little... Thank you for having us. Uh, tell the people a little bit about the Trio Cafe. Uh, we are located in Whitman Center and uh, we are proud to participate in this wonderful event. Uh, we're doing it uh, every year since the very beginning. Uh, today we decided to do a uh, little bit of sampling of our menu. We prepared meatballs with pasta, different type of sandwiches, wraps and some cookies for dessert. Um, I really want to thank you everybody for being uh, so generous and so uh, welcoming. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. It's great to have you here. And it seems like uh, your table's been pretty picked clean. It seems like you guys are pretty popular. Almost wiped out, yes. Um, has, there any, has there been anything at any other table that sort of caught your eye that you want to hit once you have a minute? Uh, honestly, I didn't look around, so I have no uh, impression from the other tables, but uh, I'm glad that the hall is full and 
people are having a good time. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us on the program. Absolutely. So now here we are at the Perfectly Flavored Cafe, and I'm here with... My name is Mark. Um, the owners are David Casey and Nicole Bartlett. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mark. Good to be here. Uh, tell the people at home a little bit about uh, what you do. Well, we're Roller Kid and Route 18 in East Bridgewater. Um, we've got nice sandwiches. We've got some really nice entrees, chicken, salmon. There's plenty of great choices for us, uh, for you guys to, to grab some food. Uh, we do have a food truck, so we do off-premise catering, um, and it's just a great place to stop and get a bite to eat. That's great. Uh, what brings you to the event tonight? We just wanted to show our stuff and uh, let people see what we've got. And show your stuff you have. Uh, you've got a pretty good spread over here today. Uh, you want to talk about what each of these individual trays is? Today we have a uh, excuse me, a ginger sesame ginger chicken stir fry, and a truffle barbecue meatball. All right, sounds really good. And I see right next to the meatball tray, you've got some awards that you're displaying. You want to talk a little bit about that? Hype yourself up a little bit? Well, he got a Best Food Truck Award. Um, they, and I don't know, Michelle, do you, have, do you have info on the awards over there? Grab them. So we've got Best Lobster Roll, and we've got Best Food Truck um, in the area. So, got both of those. You heard it right here. These guys, these guys are vetted. 22, so pretty recent. They're still good. Come and try them. So we have made our way over to Christos to Go from Whitman, and I'm joined here by Gigi. Nice to meet you, Gigi. Uh, tell the folks at home a little bit about uh, Christos to Go. Well, we've been at this location in Whitman um, almost nine years, uh, 50 years at our at our former location at the restaurant, and we are psyched to be back at a, we've been crying for a couple of years waiting for food shows to happen again so we're we're very excited to be here yeah it has been a while hasn't it uh it has been a while and you know i people have been so loyal um even when it was super difficult to go out to eat and uh we were really lucky um excellent the best staff in the world came to work every day, took care of each other, took care of the customers, um, and all our old friends kept coming in and we've made some new ones too. For sure, and for such a momentous occasion of, of being back after so many years, uh, what have you brought for people to sample? Well, we brought our famous Greek salad, which is almost gone. Um, we make what we call our bar cheese and homemade crackers, because we used to make it to serve at the bar at the old restaurant, we still make it. Uh, we have Felicia's famous chocolate chip cookies, apple cranberry chicken salad sliders, and Greek pasta salad, which is a special that we make in the spring and the summer. Sounds good. It sounds like a great uh, spread of food you got here, but I do have to ask, uh, the cookies, do they rival Toll House? Oh, nothing rivals Toll House. Just trying to figure out where the hierarchy of cookie is. <laughs> they are, they're a damn good cookie, but no, nobody rivals Toll House. Absolutely. Uh, so, are there any tables that you've been uh, looking at? I know, like, sort of hanging back here, you, you're trying to serve the food, but has anything sort of caught your eye? We all went, you know, we didn't, he we got here late, and we didn't even have a chance to go around to see everything that's being offered. We see a few people who were always here every year at the shows, and we're looking forward to their stuff. Um, we met a bunch of great students from uh, South Shore Vo Tech. Um, we're looking forward to. It's always nice to meet students. Oh, for uh, sure, yeah. So we're looking forward to their stuff as well. But honestly, it's once everything slows down a little, we're going to make the rounds. Absolutely, yeah. It, it is real busy right now. I've noticed. It is. It's great. It, yeah, it's great to see the turnout. It's it's a little interesting to navigate when you're holding a camera and a microphone, though. But it's just great to see everybody congregating and enjoying some really good food. So. Yeah, it looks like everybody's having a good time. So. Yeah. So thanks for joining us on the program. Always great. Thanks very much. It's great to talk with you. Make sure you eat. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you eat at Christos to go in Whitman. <laughs> Thank you. So we have made it over here to the Stop and Shop Bakery table. Definitely been there before. Uh, specifically the Whitman Stop and Shop. And I'm joined here by Barbara. 
Nice to meet you, Barbara. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Stop and Shop Bakery, in case anybody doesn't know. Okay, well, I, this is the Stop and Shop Bakeries, um, cupcakes, cookies, cookie cakes, and triple layer cakes that we're known for. And we sell a variety of other baked goods also, and cakes. But this is a small sampling of some specialty work we do. Right. Uh, what have you brought here today to, for the people to sample? We have our jumbo cupcakes, which are filled with frosting and icing, and the smaller version cupcake, which is Oreo, fudge brownie, s'mores, chips ahoy, and just kind of a regular vanilla cupcake with icing in our chocolate drizzled chocolate chip cookies. See, th I knew it. This table is dangerous. I knew this table would be dangerous. Uh, but yeah, uh, what made you want to be a part of the Taste of Whitman Hansen event? Well, actually, we were a part of the event last year, and we were asked to come back. So we were very thrilled and happy to be a part of it. It's a great cause, and it's great networking, and we see some familiar faces. That's great, yeah. Um, I don't believe WHCA has been a part of the event since 2020. It's sort of our, our work has kind of been put on hold for obvious reasons. So it's, it's really great to, to be back uh, with our people, back on the camera, and supporting the community. Yes, I agree. It's good to see you. Uh, anything else you want to say before we move on? Uh, go Bruins. You heard it right here, folks. Go Bruins. All right. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So who have we stumbled on but the one and only Fred Small, a, a bit of a legend among the, uh, the school community. How are you doing, Fred? I'm doing good. Am I a legend because I like to eat? I mean, <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> no uh, what, what brings you to Taste of Whitman Hanson? Uh, it's a great community event. The monies that are raised go directly to our students in the form of scholarships. It's a win-win. It gets people out. You see familiar faces. It's springtime, so people are more apt to go out. And it goes to a good cause. Everybody wins. Absolutely. It's all about the students, right? Absolutely. And community. For sure. Uh, is, are there any tables that you've hit in particular, or are there any that you're still looking at? Oh, we're looking at all of them. Yeah, me too, my man, me too. Yeah, uh, it's great to see you here, Fred, and we'll be seeing you around. Nice to be here, and nice to see the turnout. The parking lot's full, and it only began 20 minutes ago. Oh, absolutely. I, I was not expecting uh, it to be this full, like, right away. It's a little bit overwhelming, but, you know, it's, it's great to see. Great to see the turnout. Yep, absolutely, and it gives me quality time with the grandchildren as well. Oh, for sure, yeah. Cupcakes, chocolates, and candies. Can't wait to give them to the, back home to their parents. You know. oh, absolutely. Skinner Sugar House over there. They, they make all their own stuff. It'll, it'll get them going. Uh, the dailies are great people, and that is one of our favorite places to go, period. So we have made our way over to who else but the Wicked Loft Cafe, and I'm joined by... Kathy. Adria. Erin. So I'm sure this is a little bit of deja vu for all of us involved, because if you've seen on On the Road, uh, I actually visited the Wicked Loft Cafe and went a little bit more in depth about who they are. But for the people who haven't seen that yet, you want to talk a little bit about your business? Yeah, so we, um, we offer coffee, smoothies, paninis, breakfast sandwiches. We're located on like the corner of South Ave and Marble Street, kind of like tucked away. Um, it's a cafe and we have lots of space inside and people come in and sit and uh, we're open Monday through Sunday. And we brought some of the stuff here today. Um, this is the Wicked Sunrise Smoothie. There's strawberry, banana, mango, peach, and aloe juice. And then we also brought some garlic grilled cheese, which is like a garlic spread with mozzarella and American. And then our famous turkey Reuben, which is turkey, provolone, sauerkraut, and Thousand Islands. It's quite a spread you guys have got here. And I can speak firsthand, coffee, real good. Can say it right now. Uh, so what made you want to be involved with uh, the Taste of Whitman Hansen? Um, well, they reached out to us and we thought it was a great opportunity for people that have never seen our business to come um, and try a sample and we could talk to them and, you know, show them where it is and maybe gain some new customers. Absolutely. Uh, have there been any tables that you've been interested in checking out tonight? Oh, yeah, for sure. We see, like, all the dessert tables. Dessert tables. Oh, yeah, the desserts are something. Yeah. 
Wait, where, where'd you see those? The wings are right over there. I know where we're hitting next. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us today. You guys are doing great. I'm going to actually grab one of these uh, smoothies. So here we are at the Shaw's Market uh, in Hanson. Uh, they've come to join the event today. And I'm joined by? Ann Sauer and Mary Baba. I'm sorry. Hello. Mary? Baba. Barber. So we are from Shaw's and Hanson. We both work there about a total of 75 years. Uh, and we bring wings every year and they go over wonderful. Not just for sports games or, you know, a nice cold Sunday. They're good all the time. Absolutely. Available. And we also have a great pharmacy. Absolutely. So something you should know about me is that I'm a big fan of wings. Uh, what types of wings have you brought today? We have barbecue, teriyaki, buffalo, and salt and vinegar. Classic. Classic. And I, see, and I see you've got the uh, blue cheese in the corner over there. Yeah, Are you cool those down a little bit. But no, this is... Uh, this is available all the time at Shaw's, Eddie Shaw's Star Market, whether it be Hanson or one of our other 54 locations. Absolutely. Uh, what made you want to be a part of the event today? Because it's fun. You get to raise money and you get to have all this food. Absolutely. Can't go wrong with food, right? Dollars for scholars, and it's a well, it's worthy. Yep. All, all for the community. Yes, and you get to see all the people you, you know, once a year, you get to catch up with the people you saw last year. Absolutely. Over and go, Ooh, what shall I have? It, they, yeah, they just smell the wings like, I know where Shaw's is. And I'm looking for cheesecake, but I can't smell it. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us here today. Love what you do. All right, so we're, we're continuing the candy train right now. We're over here at uh, Whitman's own Pinches and Pounds, and I'm joined by... My name is Neil Daniels Midman. I'm one of the uh, cohorts down at the uh, store. We've been in Whitman now for almost 15 years. Sounds great. Uh, tell, tell the people at home about uh, what you're all about. Ha, we're more about the eclectic type of candy. Uh, we will get anything and everything, things that other stores can't get, won't get. Uh, we get, like for instance, if I can do it, we carry five pound gummy bears, uh, among other things. I that. Somebody said they'd eat that, okay. I've only ever seen these in the movies. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, we we uh, we carry all types of gummies. We carry every flavor of Jelly Bellies. We carry uh, we have all different types of candy molds and candy chocolate that you can make the, uh, your different your own molds if you want. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that we really push on. But you know, when it comes down to the holidays, we get in things. This year, for instance, people have been buying things before the actual holiday of which we brought the candy in. So it's been you know, people are just coming in from all over the place. The other thing is the fact that we survived during the pandemic because the owner came up with the idea, let people call in for their uh, order, she will bring it right out to the curb for you, and that's how we survived. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been wonderful here. It's fantastic to hear, uh, it's been fantastic to hear how you guys have perceived with, uh, per persevered, I should say. Persevered. Yeah, <laughs> persevered in the face of adversity. Uh, so you guys sell like more like rare sort of like offbeat candies. Do you have any like particular favorite that you sell? Well, I'm a diabetic, so. <laughs> but here's the thing: we carry a, a special type of uh, sugar-free chocolate and all different types that do not have the chemical aftertaste that you find in most sugar-free chocolates. So it's really good. My whole thing there is the uh, dark chocolate, sugar-free bark. And I always tell people that if there's only one piece left, it's mine. <laughs> That's a good thing to let people know about. So you guys have been coming to the Taste of Whitman Hansen for quite a while now. What, what brings you back every year? The people. I mean, there's no question about it. There are people that remember us. There are people, there are first timers that go like, I've never seen that before, or are you kidding? I, I didn't know that anybody could carry that. And I love talking with people. That's great to hear. Well, you talked with us for quite a bit now, so I, I, I think he likes talking with people. But yeah, uh, thanks for joining us on the program. Love what you do. My pleasure, thank you very much. 
So we've made our way over to the Meadowbrook restaurant, and I'm joined by... Debbie. Nice to meet you, Debbie. Uh, tell the people at home a little bit about uh, what you do. We own the Meadowbrook restaurant in Hanson. It's on Route 27. It's a family-owned and run operation. Specials every day, um, a menu. It has a function room, a bar. Of course. And uh, what have you brought here today? Tonight we brought shepherd's pie. Um, the chef made shepherd's pie, and we also brought homemade minestrone soup. And the big hit seems to be the pink lemonade. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Looks like you guys have got a great spread here today. Uh, so what brings you to uh, the Taste of Whitman Hansen? Well, it's a great cause. It's a lot. It's good for the kids. So we're always willing to do our part as far as to give back to the community. It's all about the students, right? It's all about the community. It's always about the kids and the students and giving back. But I do have to ask, I've been asking every table, uh, is there any other table that's here that you've kind of had your eye on during the night? I haven't even been around, to be quite honest with you, but maybe some sweet stuff. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's plenty of good stuff there. Yeah. But yeah, it, it is great to be at the event. Uh, I understand like you haven't been at the event for a while. Well, we haven't been here in three years because of COVID, but prior to that, we were here every year. How does it feel to be back? It feels great. I'm so glad to see everybody out doing their thing. Absolutely. So we have made our way over to Costco Wholesale, and I'm joined by Nick. Nice to meet you, Nick. Uh, tell the people at home a little bit about uh, the business. Uh, we're selling cakes here today. Um, they're cheaper than you know any deli or uh, bakery cakes, but they taste the same. They taste great. I mean, I'd recommend them for sure, uh, but yeah, Costco Wholesale. What made you guys uh, want to come out to the Taste of Whitman Hanson? Um, you know, just to really represent, um, to get the cakes out there, to get people trying them, and I'm sure everyone loved them because, hey, they're already like half gone. So. Yeah, I wish we got here a little bit earlier because it, it would have been nice to see the cakes in their, in their full beauty, but... Yeah. Uh, Seems, seems like they're just uh, pretty popular. They are. They seem very popular. Uh, the design was really beautiful. I'm sad it's gone. Yeah, well, I mean, what's left of it is pretty beautiful. So, <laughs> so it's just like a, I, I assume it's just a vanilla and a chocolate cake, just basic, you yeah, know. Yeah. We're just getting the basics out here. So, you know, you, everyone likes either vanilla or chocolate. No one doesn't like either one, so. Right, palatable for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, thank you for joining us on the program, and uh, I think I'm going to have myself a slice of cake. Thanks, boss. So one of the great things about doing this event is that you run into some real notable people in either uh, Whitman or Hanson communities. Uh, right now I'm joined with the one and only Whitman Selectman, Justin Evans. How you doing, Justin? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. What brings you to the, what brings you to the event tonight? Uh, you know, this is the first time I've been here since the 2020 event when we, you know, a couple weeks later the world shut down. So uh, Cut a little close, huh? It's, it's good to get back out and, yeah, see this event again. They raise a ton of money for Dollars for Scholars. and get to see some of the restaurants from around town that you know so what is it about events that relate to food that you think really brings people out and make makes them want to get involved at least for me i didn't have to plan dinner tonight so that like, really helped absolutely yeah I, I was able to come here on an empty stomach and and not have to worry about like oh where am i going to get dinner tonight i'm going to be here yeah it's great any any particular favorites so far um, you know, I, uh, I only got here a little while ago, and I'm carrying a baby around for most of it, so I've, I've only had a little bit. I, I love Mike's always. Um, the Wicked Loft is always good. Oh, I love the Wicked Loft. The other half of the, the room, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going pretty quickly, so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, take your time, but, yep. you know, it's, it's been pretty popular this year. Yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's always a good time here. Yeah. I think it's something about being the first one back since COVID that really makes people want to come out and, and experience it again. A lot of people, myself included, are experiencing it for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, um, I actually don't know if they had one last year and I just missed it, but I know that, yeah, the couple were canceled because of COVID. So yeah, the, the last one was 2020. You were right about that. You know, 
as I said, you know, cutting it a little close before they shut the world down. Yeah, I know. We were talking about COVID while we were here. That was like, it's one of those days. You're not, not sure if you can shake hands. Um, yeah, it was like that. It was like that weird in-between period where you're just like, uh, so is this a thing that we have to worry about now? Yeah. Do, do we distance yet or is that, are we doing that yet? Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, glad I made it back to the, uh, the first one back. Yeah, it's great to be here. Justin, my man, thank you for joining us today. Oh, right here. Don't you? I win. Don't you? I always win. <laughs>